welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video okay first excuse the mess in the back um i got a lot of stuff i gotta do but i wanted to come and talk about my bag okay so this is kind of like the first impressions actually it's been like when did i get it yesterday the day before yesterday i got it and this is her this is the louis vuitton city cruiser in the reverse monogram and as you can see she is a nice little structured bag and she is cute okay so she is pre-loved i purchased her pre-loved because y'all know that's my thing i like to get things pre-loved because i get them they're more affordable for me and i don't know i just i just prefer to go that route um yes so this is just kind of her just doing like a little overview when i first saw this bag i was like oh ew gee this thing right here is gorgeous like good lord this bag is so pretty there's so much going on <laughs> there's so much detail to this bag okay so we'll do a what's in my what's inside what fits inside and then this is my spring nails y'all but we'll do a what fits inside and then I'll talk about the bag more in depth. So hold on. Okay, so here she is in all her glory. She is not very big. She I would <laughs> I would categorize her, categorize her as a medium bag. And y'all know I'm a big bag girl. But she's she's she fits everything that I need her to. Except one thing, actually. So not everything that I need her to, except one thing. Nice try though. But um <laughs> This is the bag. This is the top, what you see when you're about to open her up. And the zipper is hidden underneath. And how I open her up usually is you pull these two handles and she kind of like becomes large. Like, so she, first she's like this. And then you pull the two handles and it opens up a lot. Okay, so yeah. That's everything that's inside her. And it's pretty much what I keep in all my bags that's inside right now. Um, we'll go ahead and pull it out so, so you can see for yourself. I have my Kipling little pencil bag. I have, oh no, my little notebook is coming apart. My little notebook for just like if I need to write something down real quick. I always need to write stuff down real quick. Um, this is my toiletry case with um, tampons, pads, lotions, um, migraine medicine <laughs> yes um next i have a business card from the nail salon that i went to so if you're in the seattle area hit me up and i'll give you this information to go to the nail salon if you need to i have my wallet and i'm still <coughs> still using that patrice nor whatever whatever it's called neil nash whatever <laughs> i'm still using this wallet i really really like this wallet like i really like this brand like it smells amazing i've been sick for the last like two weeks or so again and so i didn't smell it like as strong as i smell it now like it's so strong like the leather on this is crazy good and i finally got a new id y'all <laughs> so yes there's that then passport because i've just been keeping two forms of id with me so there is my passport and i have this canada cover on it because i like their passport cover better than i got <laughs> and then i have my spare key with a dream girl keychain on it and um that yes i think that's it as you guys can see, my planner is not in here, and it's right here. So y'all know that's a big thing for me, my planner being able to fit, which now the bag is empty. This is my planner, the like the full-size Ray Dunn planner, and I barely, barely like, you really gotta like maneuver to try to get this thing in here. I don't even think it's gonna be able to fit if I turn it to its side. If that were the case, it would have been. So I got it in there, but it was a struggle. 
So me trying to do that every time I need to get this thing in and out, that's a no-go for me. So it's either <laughs> give up the bag for the planner or get a different planner for my bag. Which one do y'all think I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm not giving this baby up. This bag is like, like I really think everybody needs like a very unique, at least one very, very unique bag in their collection. Like, and this is the one in mine because there's so much going on with this bag. Like the strap is reverse mono. On the front of the bag, it has the reverse mono trim, and that only goes around the front, and then the, from top to bottom. But that reverse mono is not on the bag, so on the back it's just monogram. The handles are reverse. The strap on top is reverse. It has the little buckle that keeps the straps together so you can actually keep the straps like this if you want to. Which I think <coughs> that's only good if you're like traveling or something. Because I like to use the straps to open that mouth up. You know what I mean? Um, it does have a very nice size pocket here. On the inside is microfiber. There's that very, very nice size pocket. Um, <coughs> there's a lock here on the front. Um, I already mentioned it. I don't know if I mentioned, but it does have feet on the bottom. And they say Louis Vuitton on them stamped. And then it has three red X's here. I'm not sure what these are, y'all. So if you know what those are, please put in the comments below because I have no idea. <laughs> um, like I said, gold hardware, even the way that the handles, that's like a detail right there. Even how the handles are like on there is through these little brackets. And that's so detailed. I would say that this bag fits about the same amount of stuff as the Manhattan that I used to have. You guys remember? And it has just that much detail. So I'd probably say if if I still have my Manhattan, I probably wouldn't keep this bag. But since I don't have that bag anymore, I'm going to keep it. Because they're both so unique. But this one's a little different. You know what this bag reminds me of? I'm going to get it. Hold on. This bag, for some reason, <laughs> reminds me of the toilet shoe case. Like, I don't know. That, that's the shape of it. I kind of wish, almost wish that this bag kind of zipped up open like this you know what i mean like this but i guess that's not bad at all and this can be unbuckled but i don't know why you would want to do that exactly um I'll move this out the way so yes um like i said this is a medium sized bag very very cute you guys and i guess we'll finish this video off with some mod shots so stick around shortly for that okay so here is the bag this is the on the wrist which is really cute with it on like this and as you can see, like, it's kind of too short for me to do crossbody. I can wear it like this. And that's probably how I'd wear it anyways. This is how I wore it today. So it's just a super cute, very different bag. Um. <laughs> So, yes, that was my city cruiser. You know what? I'm going to take this picture for the um, thingy.
Okay, no, I'm not gonna say that right now. So yes, that was a, um, oh shoot. That was my first impressions of the City Cruiser. If you need to get in touch with me, please do so on K underscore Pike underscore TV. And I'll see y'all in the next one.